All right, guys. With that down, let's move on to our next topic here, shall we? Paris, what do we got next? All right. Well, it looked like two highly anticipated movies, Wicked and Moana 2, were both going to release on the same day, but not anymore as one film has moved, at least a little. So according to Variety, Wicked, Universal's film adaptation of the hit Broadway show, is now landing in theaters on November 22nd, five days ahead of, the, ahead of schedule. So it was originally supposed to open on November 27th, the same day as Disney's Moana 2. So, John, was this the right move for Wicked to change dates? Okay, so, yes. Yes? Question uh, here's what I mean by that. Look, we actually talked about the whole Wicked Moana 2 thing a few weeks ago because this was not going to be a Barbenheimer thing because these were not two polar opposite movies that were both big and opening on the same day and attracting different audiences. This is Wicked and Moana 2, and they were going to attract the exact same demographic. They're going to attract families, young girls, kids, people who love the Broadway show on one hand. But, you know, again, Moana, a seven-year-old film, was the number one streaming movie in America last year, even though it was seven years old. I mean, them going head-to-head -head was a non-starter, right? That was not going to work for either of them. We knew one of them was going to move. So Wicked decides to be the one that moves. But there's two very interesting things here. Number one, it only moved by five days. So while you're not opening on the same day as Moana, you are probably in for a very rude second weekend mm -hmm. when Moana 2 comes out. But the second thing is this. They jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. Because according to Variety, moving five days early, that's great. But the now, Wicked is set to debut on the same day as Paramount, if they're still in business by the time this thing comes around. They're set to come out on the same day that Paramount and Ridley Scott's historical epic, Gladiator 2. Although there's presumably much less overlap in the audience and thus a threat of cannibalization. So you got a little bit more of a Barbenheimer possibility on that day, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it's, you know, Gladiator 2... And Wicked, some crossover, sure, but not exactly going after the same demographic. But still, stiff competition in Gladiator 2. And then a few days later, Moana 2 opens. I think it was the right idea to move. I mean, it would have been the right idea for either one of them to move. If Moana moved, I would have said that's the right idea. Wicked moves. But I, I think you got to move at least two weeks away from it because... Yeah, you're going to enjoy your opening weekend, but then your second weekend is just going to get its knees knocked knocked yeah. out. It much, it'd be a much bigger drop now. Yeah, I, and so now I wouldn't worry too much about Gladiator Two because guys, you don't need to go see it in the theaters because Paramount will be idiots and they'll just put it out on streaming in about four weeks after it comes out. So don't worry about That's that. Cool. Don't worry about Gladiator Two. I'm just telling everybody now, take a pass on Gladiator Two if you want to watch it. All you got to do is wait four weeks till after it comes out. You can watch it at home. So. Um, right move, yes, <laughs> but not far enough. So, Ray. No, okay. don't ask me anything no, no. ever. Big okay, fan Moana 2 and Wicked are coming out same day. Okay, let's say they come out on the same day. And we make plans to go to the movies. Wicked. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked is the one you're saying. Got a, yeah. any particular reason? Just because I, I seen the first Mo Moana, and right. then I saw, we went to that CinemaCon. And just the, Ooh, the emotion, presentation for Wicked the was so good. That the, the actors, the directors showed really sh showed me at least how much making this film took out of them. Oh, yeah. Like it, yeah. it looked like they just were so happy, were so proud, but yet so tired and just like of the whole experience. I just want to see that play out in this movie. I, I will watch it with like different eyes, knowing, knowing what we saw at CinemaCon. Because John Chu almost like shed a tear when he was like talking about the movie. And dude, listen, and they did this big presentation too on how much they relied. There's clearly obviously some CGI and some digital in this, but they went at length to talk about how much they made practical effects to the point that even something that could have been easily done in CGI, like a rolling hill with flour, they literally, they talked about they brought in from around the world like four million flowers or something like that to to decorate this set and stuff like that. Yep. And they truly have tried to make 
Whether they succeed or not, we'll find out, but they have at least tried to make a true Hollywood epic with this film. And plus, there was a time where Wicked was in, in the uh, plays, right? They were like, on uh, they're like on Broadway. Oh, that, that's, really where, that's where it got its I, popularity. I never got into it, so I don't know the story of Wicked at all. So that's another oh, thing that's so intriguing cool. me. I do want to see what this movie is about. Uh, and so I, I'm pretty excited for it. I've seen it three times on Broadway. Really? The stage play? Yeah, twice in New York and in LA. I'm a Broadway nerd. Wicked's probably top three for me. So, wow. I, yeah, I, I'm I'm so excited. Ariana and Cynthia have such a great chemistry already. Their press run has been like, oh wow, I could. Their voices are phenomenal. I'm I'm stoked. It's always gonna be Wicked for me over Moana. And then the two of them came out on stage together at yeah. when we were at CinemaCon this yeah. year. They 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 two of them came out. It was really great. But again. Do not underestimate Moana. Again, how often do you get a seven-year-old movie that dominated streaming last yeah. year? Like more than any other film. It Like more than Avatar, more than uh, Wakanda Forever, more than anything Moana. Street, it is a huge powerhouse right now. I I just don't really know that I get the strategy of only moving yeah, five you, days. You can't ask me which one you, uh, I would watch without answering that yourself. Oh, okay. So obviously I want to see both. I do. But if they were still coming out on the same day, dude, there, there's, a, there's this line where the sky meets the sea. Yeah. And, is and that... it calls me. Oh, so which I, is, I, I wonder which think, that is. So you would watch Moana. Moana. I think uh, I would go to see Moana two first. first. Yeah. But yeah. we're in agreement. We're gonna watch both. Oh, we're yeah. definitely gonna yeah. see it's both. Just, yeah. Which one you're gonna watch first? That's yeah. I think I, I mean, would have to lean Moana fact, because I've never seen the stage play. Oh right? yeah. Right. Yeah. So Anne's yeah. seen the stage play. She loves it. So cool. Out of curiosity, you said it's top three. What what other ones would be up there in your top three? It's honestly Lion King number one. Lion King on Broadway. It's it's incredible on Broadway, and then Rent is second. Mm. Ooh, yeah, two million seven hundred thousand. I don't yeah. know what the number of seconds <laughs> yeah. it is, but twenty five thousand. I can't sing, but I pretend to. Minutes. Yeah, mine is still Les Mis. That's oh, okay. That's Les Mis good. is my. I think it's Les Mis, then Lion King. And what would be my third? Maybe Book of Mormon and Lion King. <laughs> Book of Mormon and Lion King. But I never did see Book of Mormon. You, you didn't go see it. No, I Anne went a couple times, but I didn't go with yeah, her. It was, it's, it's yeah, it's very good. We want to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. You know, guys, it's one of the most unfortunate human tendencies that we have to try to compare our life to others. And social media plays a big part of that. Comparison is like the thief of joy, and it's easy to envy other people's lives because it, on the surface, it might look like they have it all together on their Instagram or YouTube, but in reality, they probably don't. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have. So you can start living your best life. Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, it's no surprise that one of Wicked or Moana were going to move. They were never going to open on the same day. But are you surprised that it only moved five days? Right move, wrong move? Maybe you still think, even though I don't, I doubt it, that we could get a, like a Barbenheimer effect here. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.